and it's raining but that doesn't matter we're gonna do this regardless rain or shine rain or not we're doing this from somewhere in time you're watching smoky goodness 2.0 tonight featuring a very small center cut bone in brined barbecued pork loin on the grill though but first we have to step back into the wayback machine so i guess this is smoky goodness somewhere in time the brining process from yesterday we've got eight cups of water which is already over on the stove right here i've got one quarter cup of coarse salt this is himalayan pink salt this is three tablespoons of sugar over here we've got three bay leaves and the magic a cinnamon stick and here I've got one clove of crushed garlic two whole cloves this is two teaspoons of whole peppercorns okay we're gonna start off by bringing water the salt and the sugar to a boil And we're adding the bay leaves, cloves, cinnamon, peppercorns, and garlic. Now we're going to reduce the heat. Let this simmer for five minutes. And after five minutes, we're going to remove it from the heat. We're going to let it cool down completely to room temperature. And of course, the pork loin and the brine are going in a one-gallon Ziploc bag. You want to brine this for at least eight hours, no less. 12, 14, 24 would be even better. And because it's raining out here off and on intermittently, I've got the grill dome, the camera, everything under my red umbrella here. I'm gonna throw in uh, one chunk of hickory here, just one. I want a light smoke. I'm actually gonna move this off the side just a little bit. Lower extension rack, downward position. Deflector shield, downward position. Grill grate, regular position. Let that heat up and we'll be right back. And the grill dome has come back up to temperature quickly. Our pork loin has rested for about a good hour, maybe an hour and a half. And despite the fact that I gave this thing a bad review a couple of months ago, I'll be using this Weber style thermometer for this cook because of the rain I'm not opening this lid so I've got one probe stuck in the pork loin the thickest part of it and I'm just gonna lay this one right there get an accurate reading temperature of the grill because I close it and I won't be opening this for a couple of hours or at least until the pork loin comes up to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit which is the way I've been cooking it all along even long before the food police said it was okay to cook your pork to about 140, 145. So we'll see you when we see you. Hey, did I forget to mention that 
toward the end of this cook, we're going to be glazing this pork loin with a peachy chipotle sauce. I think I did. It's going to rock. And um, you know what? I still don't like this thing. I hate it. It's, uh, it's only been 45 minutes, and this thing says that this pork loin's almost done, and I'm holding the temperature down around 230, so that can't be right. Go for what you know. Let me introduce you to the Smoky Goodness Sear Station. That's right. Put a good, hard, fast preliminary final sear on this. Preliminary final sear? Is that even a thing? <laughs> That. Of course, you want to sear all sides of this. Pepper. Okay, good. Real good. And right back on the grill dome. Take it home. Yum. I'm just gonna liberally pour this all over the top of that loin. I'm gonna let that kind of thicken up a little bit. This is gonna be good as the rain starts again. Alright, two hours, mission elapsed time. We're running the temperature a little high right now because I'm just setting up that glaze. It's time. This bad rabbit is ready to be dined upon. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes. your brined, center cut, slightly smoked, barbecued pork loin. And what? Mango salad. Salsa. Mango salsa. Well, it's a salad to me. Popcorn. It's a lot. It's been a long time. We have bread. Yeah. And we have bread that looks like chicken drumsticks, but they're not. It's bread, right? And some rice. And holy moly, there's an empty seat. <laughs> Where's the little guy? Are you kidding, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? He's out doing little guy uh, first or second day of summer vacation type stuff with a few friends. A sleepover. Busy little guy. Busy little guy. All right. 